Welcome to our Quarkus series. Today, we want to have a look at API keys and how we can use them to secure our REST APIs so that only clients that have a valid API key can access our API. So let's have a look at the code. To get started with our example, we have a simple greeting resource. When we call a get on slash hello on our service, we will get back a hello from Maconsys. So let's test this with Postman. And when we call localhost 8080 slash hello, we get back a hello from Maconsys. To add an API key filter, we just need to add a new class, my API key filter. And we can add a method here, which is annotated with server request filter. This method's name and the class name doesn't matter. Filter API key. This method can consume a parameter, which is the container request context, which we need to get access to the request. And we want to make this filter pre-matching. Pre-matching means that this filter is run before the routes are matched. So really early in the process of this request. So we can directly filter out any request that doesn't have an API key. From the container request context, we can now consume the headers and get our X API key header. Header. And when we check this type, we see it's a list of strings and optional. Why is this? So the optional is because this API key header could not be set. And the list is because multiple of those could be set. So we first need to check that there's only one API key and that it has the right value. So what I will do is I will do the inverse. I will check if something is wrong and then abort the request. Therefore, let's check first if the API key header is null or empty. Then we want to abort or if the API key header has more than one entry or if the API key header is not equal to my API key. And we want to get the first element in that case. If that's the case, then we throw unauthorized exception and abort the request with that. So let's test this. If we call our service now, Quarkus is recompiling the code in the background. And after a short wait, we see that we get now get an unauthorized 401 error. If we now go to the headers section here in Postman and add our X API key header with the my API key value, we can get hello from Aconsys again. If we specify a wrong API key, we also get a not authenticated error. Now, usually you don't want to hard code your API key in your code and rather configure them from the outside. To do this, we can use the application properties. In here, we cannot just configure the properties of Quarkus, but we can also define our own properties. In our case, I will define a new property here and we will call it my API key too. So now we can inject this value into our, conf into our API filter. We need to specify the name of the property here. And we say this is a private value, API key, and it's of type string. Now we can just simply use this here and this would already work. Please note, we can do this here and this whole class will automatically become a bean because we have the server request filter in here. What we could do is add application scoped here, but Quarkus is doing that for us already. So when we test this, we can now see that we again get a 401 unauthorized because we changed the API key and we now need to change it here and we get 200 OK. And this is how you can secure your REST API with an API key. We hope you enjoyed this episode of our Quarkus series. See you next time.